hi viewers welcome to ganesh k youtube channel in this tutorial i'm going to explain you how to create kick overs in tecla structures just like this okay let's start open your tecla structures with us environment now we're going to create beam so click on steel and select this beam zoom it and pick the first point and pick the second point to create beam like this right click mouse interrupt now we're going to edit this profile so double click on this beam now I'm going to change this profile so click on here and minimize it now maximize this w24 by 68 then click on apply ok then click on modify to see the result here you can see now this profile should be w24 by 68 now close this window now I'm going to create one more beam similar to this so click on this beam and pick the first point and pick the second point to create beam like this right click on my center now select this beam you can see now this profile should be w24 by 68 and this profile also w24 by 68 like this okay now we're going to create kicker beam in between these two beams so go to application and components by using the shortcut ctrl f or you can click on here in such word type kicker you can see you'll get this component kicker brace so select this component and pick the main part as a this beam and pick the secondary part as a this beam and pick the position for example if you want to create the bracing at middle so click on here at the top of this beam and pick the second point at the middle of this second beam to create the kicker in between these two beams and close this window right click mouse interrupt click on space right click on mouse retro view you can see by default we have the kicker brace connection like this at the top of the flange like this and at this location we are at the bottom of this flange like this okay now i'm going to edit this kicker bracing connection so double click on this angle you will get this window so just drag and place a side now I'm going to change this angle of this brace. So click on here. By default, we have the L four by four by three by four. For example, we're going to change this profile. So let's take L five by five by three by four inch. Then click on apply OK. Then click on modify to see the result here. You can see now this profile should be L five by five by three by four like this. Similarly, you can change this profile as you require from this option in this list as per standard click on apply ok now i'm going to change this plate you can see i have the top plate at this location now i'm going to change this plate thickness so let's take here one by four inch then click on modify to see the result here you can see now this plate thickness should be one by four according to this option now i'm going to change this plate width so by default we have six inches let's take seven inch then click on modify to see the result you can see now this plate width should be seven inches now coming to this height let's take here seven inch then click on modify you can see now this height should be seven inch okay now coming to this edge distance you can see from the top of beam to angle distance by default we have the one and a half inch let's take one inch one by four then click on modify to see the result you can see now from the top of flange to angle edge should be one one inch one by four now coming to here from center of beam to edge of this angle by default we have one and a half inch let's take two inch here then click on modify to see the result you can see now from center of beam to edge of this angle should be two inch according to this option now coming to here this chamfer you can adjust from this option for example let's take here two inch then click on modify you can see now this chamfer should be two inch according to this option let's take one and a half inch then click on modify you can see now this chamfer value should be one and a half inch according to this option now coming to this bottom connection at this location so you can adjust this plate thickness you can see at the bottom connection You can adjust this plate thickness from this option bottom plate 
let's take here only 4 inch thickness then click on modify to see the result you can see now this thickness of this plate should be 1 by 4 inch now coming to this width let's take here 7 inch then click on modify you can see now the width should be 7 inch now coming to height let's take 7 inch then click on modify now height should be 7 inch okay now coming to this edge distance uh, angle versus this plate drag it here now we have the options on right side of this window at this location now for example from center to edge of this angle we can control from here let's take two inch then click on modify now the center of beam to edge of this angle should be two inch now coming to this option bottom of this flange to top of this angle distance you can control from this option let's take here 6.5 inch then click on modify to see the result you can see now bottom of this beam to top of this angle should be six and a half inch from this option now coming to this chamfer at this location you can control from this option let's take two inch let's take 1.5 inch then click on modify you can see now this chamfer should be 1.5 inch in a horizontal and vertical distance okay now go to this weld symbol in the weld you can control this weld size from this option by default we have 3 by 16 if you want to change you can change from here this is the weld symbol option now you can change the weld type also click on here in this list we have different types of weld symbols according to your requirement you can choose this weld symbol at here from at the top and bottom option okay now coming to this option this symbol indicates the side weld if you want to weld this kicker brace in workshop then you need to select this option then click on modify to update at top and bottom but as per standard we need to weld this okay uh, brace inside so click on here and select this side symbol then click on modify to update okay then click on modify apply okay click on space right click on mouse to review okay you can apply this kicker base in different levels also for example these two beams are in same level at a zero level you can see now i'm going to increase the level of this beam so select this beam right click on mouse move special linear click on clear you can see now we're going to move this beam in z direction in, with four feet so let's take here four feet then click on move okay right click on mouse interrupt click on space right click on mouse review you can see now these two beams are in different levels now we can connect this kicker base at different levels also like this okay that's it about how to create kicker base in tecla structures if you like this video please like it or share it if you have any doubts please comment below for more tecla structure related videos please go to my channel youtube.com slash sk i will provide this link in the description below of this video please go through it and come here under videos you can find out so many tecla structure related videos I hope this video is made be helpful to you and at the top right corner please click on subscribe button. If you subscribe you will get notification or updates when uploading a new video. So please click on subscribe. Okay. Thank you.